So this struggle today, the Uniform Civil Code is part of the larger struggle to safeguard and preserve the character of independent India, which is based on the foundations of plurality and the recognition of equal status to every single diversity that we have in our country, whether it's language, whether it's religion, whether it's custom, whether it's our traditions, etc. That sort of an India which we have to build, that is being destroyed and this is part of that larger agenda. That is why we all have to realize, my dear friends, that this is a battle that will define whether India, that is Bharat, will remain the secular democratic India that we all know of, in which all of us were born. This is the larger political battle, and that is why the CPIM is very clear. We are saying that we go by the understanding that we always maintain, but the 21st Law Commission also has said that we should deal with laws that are discriminatory laws, practices, customs in every community, every section that are discriminatory. That has to be corrected in consultation with the entire community. And it is not a question of a uniform civil code being imposed from the top. That is why uniformity does not mean equality. The CPIM stands for equality like the Constitution of India stands for equality. And it is that equality that we should all fight for, that every one of us is first a human being and then everything else that follows. And that is why I am so glad that this has taken place in Kerala and that too in Calicut, because I have always been proud since I have come into politics half a century ago, <laughs> I have always been proud of one fact, that wherever I travelled in India, to every, and I've traveled all over India, but the only place where I go, where nobody asks me, what is my religion, <laughs> what is my caste, where do I come from, only place where I'm treated as a human being is in Kerala. And it is, it is that equality of the human beings that has to be maintained, and all these sort of slogans that try to divide and disrupt this, that has to be relentlessly fought. The CPIM assures you all that we have always fought that and will continue to fight it. And together, Kerala must lead and show the way to the rest of the country to safeguard India today, the secular democratic character of the Indian Republic, so that we can change India for a better India tomorrow for all our people. So thank you. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much. ഏകീകൃത സിവിൽ കോഡിന് വേണ്ടിയുള്ള ഒരു ദീർഘകാല പദ്ധതിയാണ് ഈ ഭരണകർത്താക്കളുടെ മനസ്സിലുള്ളത് ഇത് നമ്മുടെ രാജ്യത്തിൻ്റെ ഇന്നത്തെ സ്വഭാവം രാഷ്ട്രത്തിൻ്റെ വൈവിധ്യപൂർണമായ അവസ്ഥ അതുപോലെ വിവിധ സമുദായങ്ങൾ വംശങ്ങളെല്ലാം അനുഭവിച്ചു വരുന്ന സമത്വത്തിന് വേണ്ടിയുള്ള അവരുടെ അഭിവാഞ്ച ഇതിനെയെല്ലാം തകർക്കുന്നതാണ് ഭാഷ മതം ആചാരം പാരമ്പര്യം എന്നിവയെല്ലാം വ്യത്യസ്തതകളുള്ള ഒരു രാജ്യത്ത് അതതെല്ലാം നിലനിർത്തിക്കൊണ്ട് ജീവിക്കാനുള്ള ഇന്ത്യക്കാരുടെ അവകാശത്തിന് നേരെയാണ് ഈ വെല്ലുവിളി ഉയർന്നത്